Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you guys? How, how's everybody? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine, fine. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Are you guys uh, ready to recharge with new energy from yesterday's break? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Good. Good. I'm glad to hear that. How is it? No, me una vez me dije que empezó a reír porque yo fui a la cama y estaba en el sal. How was uh, your your holiday? Tell me about it. I was in my house. You were at, at your house? Okay. Yes. Okay. You rested? Yes, yes, but I didn't work. Good. Good. I'm glad to hear that. What about the rest of you? How was your, how was your, um, uh, your, your, your holiday? Natalie, how was your how, how was your holiday? Uh, well, and I returned to the to El Salvador on Tuesday. No, on Wednesday in the dawn. <laughs> so all Wednesday I was resting in my home. You were outside of, of El Salvador? Yeah. Mm -hmm. hey, where were you? Uh, I I I was in like a, in a vacation and I I go into I gone to I Yellowstone. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. Went to Yellowstone and, and yeah, a nature trip. <laughs> wow! How how long were you there? Uh, five days since uh, Friday. Mm, okay, yeah, no wonder we hadn't, we hadn't seen you. Nah, yeah. Aha, uh -huh. I was like, I where couldn't. did you go? I thought, uh -huh. I thought you had left us. Yeah, but I practice, I practice uh, English there. Ah, okay, so that's what you were referring to when you were saying that you mm -hmm. were Okay. Yeah. Good. All right. Yeah, I, I thought that you just meant that you had been practicing at home and everything, but uh, now I see what you mean. Yeah. Ah. Okay. 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 Good. Good. And how did you feel with practicing your English? Very well. Uh, huh? I don't know, but the the people understand me. <laughs> well, of course they're gonna understand you. Yeah, uh, of yeah. course. Uh, we talk about many t many topics of the uh, animals, uh, the flora, and um, different uh, places that uh, um, uh, that visit in Yellowstone because it's a huge park. Yeah. So ah. there's many to see in them. Oh yeah, I, I can only imagine. Wow. So, um, do you do you have family there or or what? No, 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 no. Uh, with my husband, um, uh, cousin's husband, visit the park. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. So you just went like you know, just went like a family, just. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. That's nice. Um, and uh, did you stay like a, in a hotel or something? Yeah, in Montana. In Montana and in Idaho, two places because the, we uh, we travel, no, recorrimos, record, ¿cómo se dice? Sorry? Pass. ¿Cómo se dice recorrer? We pass, we, uh, we travel, no. Mm -hmm. Recorrer? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we traveled in all the park and and all the four days that we uh, and I rent a car 
and you will see many trails that there. There are many, many trails. Um, oh, wow. mm -hmm. And then it's very tired, but it's incredible. You see many places, uh, natural places that you can imagine that exists in the world. I'm, yeah. Wow. So what, what was your favorite part? The volcanoes, when the, the, there are many springs water, uh, springs hot waters. Yeah. And, and there are many uh, uh, geysers. Mm -hmm. yeah. the, uh -huh, there are many geysers in the, in the soil uh, or in the earth. And that's very incredible when you see that because uh, at the same time it's beautiful, but at the same time it's, it's, um, it's scary. <laughs> yeah, right. You think it's scary? Yeah, because you, you see that it's, it's beautiful, but if you fall down there, you death instantly. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So I you have to care. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I get you. I get you. Yeah, but that must be very impressive. Yeah, and you see many animals. You see bears and fox, wolves. Wow. And, and what is the other animals uh, that is common there? Uh, the uh, bisons. There are many bisons, a pack of uh, bisons. Wow, wow. That sounds like a really nice trip. Yeah. Yes. Wow, that's great. And well, I'm glad you had fun. I'm glad you had this opportunity of um, going to visit, you know, because those kind of opportunities are not something that you can some have every day. So I'm very happy. I'm happy that you Thank were you. able to, um, you know, to enjoy that, that opportunity. Yeah, wow, that's great. So you really enjoyed your, your vacation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm very young. So I think I think I, I think your vacation beats everyone, everyone's vacation. <laughs> but that was that's great. Good, good. Okay. Anybody else said something in interesting on the on the vacation uh, during the vacation slash holiday? No, nothing. No, just, just stay the yeah. I'll say what you do. We we make something special. Oh, what you make? Working teacher. <laughs> we have to work in. Yes, I yeah. You're you're right. I I, I totally agree with you. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, well, you just a regular uh work day right no no you didn't you you didn't have like a special um schedule no no the tree i have to work yeah well that's life right can't do very much about it okay well guys um i really hope you were able to enjoy yourselves uh just at least that one you know one day but you know it, it helps just to have that um that small little break um so uh before anything since i have the majority of you here and before you guys have any problems with connections or things like that i just want to remind you that today we are um we are finishing unit three which means that you have to also finish unit three for the for the platform right so that you have until today to finish right and um, very early tomorrow i'm going to start um you know uh, doing the report and sending it okay so that's going to be really really early i always do it early so that you guys um so that um we can send it early to and so forth so that means that you guys need to do it early okay or better said today before before midnight, okay? Um,
Okay. All right. So we're going to, uh, before anything, uh, we're going to be taking our attendance. We haven't done that yet. We were talking so much. We didn't even feel the hour. Okay. So let's, let's start with that. Um, we'll start obviously with Ana Claudia. Present teacher. <laughs> of course. Okay, good. Uh, welcome. And Andres? Present teacher. Okay. Great. Excellent. Claudia? Present teacher. All right. Okay. Um, and Edgar? Uh, present teacher. Okay. Excellent. And Urban? Present teacher. All right. Excellent. Uh, okay. And Heidi? Present teacher. All right, welcome, Heidi. And Irene. Present teacher. Okay. Um, and um, Ivan. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Um, welcome, Jose Antonio. No, right? Okay, Jose Wilfredo. Present teacher. All right. And Josue? Present teacher. All right. Excellent. And Juan Francisco? Present teacher. All right. Excellent. And uh, Jerry? Present teacher. Okay. Very good. Luis? Present teacher. All right. Welcome. Natalia? Present teacher. All right, excellent. And um, Ronald? Present teacher. Okay, good. Now, Wendy? Wendy? Present teacher. Okay, good, thank you. Uh, welcome, and Warner? Warner? No Warner, okay. And Yvonne? Present. All right, okay, excellent guys. So we're almost complete, very good. Okay, so we're going to start with our presentation. Please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Hold on, just a second guys. One second, okay. All right, can you see my PowerPoint? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, so unit three review product, sorry, uh, unit three review is product and, sorry, review product and review. <laughs> okay, so um, so your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero, it's in the intermediate two, and it's class number 20. Okay, so let's start. Uh, yesterday, we were reading this article. Okay. Oh, sorry, not yesterday, two days ago on, on Tuesday. Um, okay, so on Tuesday, we we're reading this article. And I just want to make sure, first of all, that everybody understands the vocabulary. Okay, so what I'm gonna ask you guys, oops, sorry. So what I'm gonna ask you guys to do is to look um, at this article again, okay? We're gonna review it. And then we're going to write in the chat any vocabulary that is not clear for you, okay? So right now we're looking at just vocabulary. If you wanna ask about Pronunciation, we'll do that in a moment. But right now, just vocabulary. I just want to make sure that it's all clear for everybody. You know, because there were some not there were even there were some people that were not even here last class. So just wanted to make sure.
Um, oh yeah, I found it. Okay. Never mind, I got it. Anything else? No, that's it. Okay, well, while I'm explaining fixed costs, if you find something else, you can write in chat. Okay, fixed cost. Oh, there is one. Hold on, give me a moment. Okay, there's more words here. Um, Okay. All right. So we'll start with the first one, fixed costs. Fixed costs are those expenses that don't change. So um, what you things that you have to pay for that the price never changes. And they give an example right here, right? So such as rent for your office or manufacturing space. So if you are renting a space for your office, they're going to tell you to give an example. Um, you know, maybe it's going to be $300 a month. Let's just say, okay. Now that is an expense that never changes. You know that every month you have to pay $300 for, um, for, the, for the space, right? You, you, you can't change that. That's always going to be $300, right? It's not, it's not going to be one month, 300, and the next month it's going to be 250, and another month, 325, and another month, 410. No, it's not going to be like that. You know that every month it's going to be $300. So you, you count that expense already, exactly the $300. That's a fixed cost. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. All right. Then we have the word all. Oh, hold on. Just give me a second because I see there are some other words and I just want to do it in order. Um, Hmm, I can't find the other one. Oh, found it. Never mind. Now I found it. Okay. Just give me a second, guys. Right back. Okay. So um, the word although is a word. Um, it's actually it's it's a transition right so you guys probably remember transitions okay um so with transition we saw before transitions that were um what do you call a additional right so these are words that um you add like another idea to it right but the word although is actually a transition uh, of, con of contrast. What that means is that um, you are making a contrast before with the previous sentence with the next sentence. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, so in this case, we are we're we are contrasting. Um, although, sorry, although may, uh, it may be a difficult calculation, a simple formula to help you is to add your total fixed cost to your total var variable cost. Okay, so, um, so in, in, if you're saying yes, it's mm -hmm. to be difficult, sure. but we can have a simple formula. Yes. Yes. 
Teacher, although is similar to say in spite of, or, or is it different? Yeah, although in spite of, um, yeah, I mean, you don't use it exactly the same, but it's, it's a similar idea. Or yeah, despite. Yeah. Um, okay, any other questions? No? Okay. All right. So let's go to the next one. Rises. The next word is rises. Rises means to go up. Okay. To increase. That's what it means, rises. So it says as prices fall, fall is going down, and uh, demand rises. So it means it goes up. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. All right, um, then we have the word regardless. Regardless means um, like it doesn't matter. So it, it doesn't, so in this, in this case it says, um, regardless of the type of small business. So it says, in other words, it doesn't matter what the type of small business is. So it can, it can be this kind or it could be that kind. It doesn't really matter. Whatever it is, it's that it's independent of that situation. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. And finally, we have markup. The markup is like um, the amount or percentage that you add to the cost of production um, to get like a profit. Okay, so to give you an example, let's let's just imagine that um, um, let's imagine that um, the cost of production of something is six dollars. Okay, just to, to give you an example, the cost of production is six dollars. Now, it, with those six dollars, you obviously can't sell it for six dollars because then if you sell it for six dollars, you're not going to get any profit, and that doesn't make sense in a business. The uh, total, the the complete idea of having a business is to make money, right? So um, you have to put up a mark a markup. The markup is going to tell us how much you're going to increase to be able to, um, how much you have to increase to get, um, what's it called? A profit, let's say, okay? So let's say if it's $6, um, let's say then you add $3, for example, for a profit and um, any, any other costs that you need. Um, in that case, um, you're going to um, you're going to have a markup of fifty percent. Does that make sense? Because it's six dollars, right? the 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 cost of uh, production is six dollars. So in that case, if you if you go up three dollars and you make the total price nine, then your markup is fifty percent. Does that make sense for everybody? Yeah, teacher, it becomes the margin the ganancia, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. Okay, and that's it. Any other words just before we move on? No? Okay. All right. Um, what about vocab? Uh, sorry. What about uh, pronunciation? Do you have any questions about pronunciation? You can write in the chat.
No. Okay, give me a second. Um, okay, I'm trying to find the words here. Um, where is rapidly? I can't find it. Um, Irene, can you can you show me, can you tell me in what paragraph I can find it? Happily, happily is the last the last. Ah, yes, thank you. I found it. Thank you very much. Um, and then we have what was the other one? Hmm, I'm having find problems finding these words. Where are they? Louise, can you help me with the word? Uh, desired? Yes, in the first paragraph. Mm -hmm. The phone line. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got it. Thank you. All right, and uh, Ana Claudia, can you help me please with the with the word? Of course, it's in the mark oh. of the product. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, this one, I got it. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Sumptions. I just need a little bit of a reference and it comes, it pops out quickly. Um, what was the other? Give it very percentage desired, probably. Performed, performed. Okay, performed. Here we go. Okay, so I think I got them all. Any others? No? Okay, so this word is desired desired okay and this one is percentage 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 yes percent. oh, okay yeah percentage please do not confuse it it's not percentage because it's not like in Spanish in Spanish is porcentaje mm -hmm. but it's not porcentaje because uh, it's not with an o it's with an e so it's percentage percentage per okay that's correct and this is rapidly 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 yes correct and this one is performed. 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 Mm -hmm. Correct. All right. There we go. That's it. Okay. All right, guys. So I'm hoping that with this explanation of the vocabulary and the pronunciation, you are, you are able to understand this, um, this uh, article better. And what we're going to do right now is these five questions that I have here, uh, we're going to be discussing them. The first question is, what are the most important factors to consider when setting a price for a product? The other one is, what are some examples of fixed costs? What are examples of variable cost? How does mark market demand affect the pricing of your product? 
and what variables influence to determine the markup percentage. So I'm going to get you guys to work in pairs. Okay. Um, so we're going to work in pairs and we're going to be discussing those questions. Um, I will give you, mm, I'll get, I'm going to give you, let me think, eight minutes. I think in eight minutes you should be able to, to do this, to discuss these questions. Okay. So are we all clear on what we're going to be doing? Yes? Yes, teacher. OK, good. Uh, before anything, anybody is on two devices? Solo para, para que no haya confusiones? No? OK, perfect. All right, let's open up the rooms then. Hello, Werner. Werner? Hello, teacher. Hello, there you are. Okay. You came just on time. I'm going to sign you to one of the breakout rooms. Okay. okay. And um, we are discussing the questions of the article that we saw on Tuesday. Okay? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So here we go. Okay, uh, the rent for the office or manufacturing space. Okay. <coughs> Okay, I'm looking for the page. 32. Okay. 32. Okay. 32, 32, 32. Okay. And the, the, first, the first question, what are the most important factors to consider when setting a price for a product? And okay. the cost of the production. The market okay, demand. And decided markup by the business. Mm -hmm. The second one, what are some examples of fixed, fixed cost? Um, Rent. I didn't touch it. Rent for your office or manufacturing space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and, um, only, only, only this one is, is here, but I think there are another. 
for example, salaries. Yeah. Salaries. Um, taxes about, for example, alcaldía, taxes. Ah, oh, okay. And, and Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> so in this case, the answer for number one is the cost of production, right? Uh, in the how is in the paragraph, Claudia? In the, in the paragraph, paragraph says there are three important the factors. One, oh, oh no, the paragraph. The is... cost of the, the one in the manual. It says is in the first paragraph. The cost yeah. of production. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I guess. Is taking in consideration the three of them, the cost of production, the market demand. We need to, I guess that is the answer here in the in the book because in the platform is different. Just, uh, okay. mm -hmm. so the answer for the first one is the cost of production, the market demand, and for the product and the desired Markup by the business. The, the first the, is in the it's first really part. Subtitle, subtitle, say. Hmm? The three subtitles. Exactly. Yes, because if you see in the first one, it says there are the three important, important factors business need to consider. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And the most important factors are those three: the cost of production, the market demand for exact. And determine, okay, uh, what are... Hey, Jessica, I'm working right Hello. now. I'm making a report and for that reason I'm not... Uh, it's okay. It's right. Okay, okay. Um, in that case, I'm answering the question questions and then let Josue know, okay? Oh. You're gonna let us know what your answers are, okay. That's good. It's okay. All right, okay. Um, Heidi, are you having problems with the camera or is it because you're you're presenting the, because I can't, I can't see you. It's that when I turn it on, I, I hear like um, very unstable. Oh, so you're sounds it's interrupt. Mm-hmm. Mm, I see. Okay. Um, it's okay. 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 Just, just what, just wondering about that. Okay. I'll, I'm gonna go into the other groups. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you? Fine. Thank you. Good. Good. Come on, us. Yeah, uh, we finished. Oh, you did. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Sounds good. In that case, um, we're well. It's pretty much we're we're going to be going back to the to the main group. So, no worries. Okay. So, um, okay. I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. See you. See you. Okay, did you guys have enough time? Almost, teacher. 
Okay, so do you need more time? Maybe a little bit, teacher. Just I mean, it would be okay. Uh -huh. We didn't finish with Claudio. Okay. We didn't finish okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, that's fine then. Um, all right, I'll send you by you guys back for five more minutes. Okay. Thank you. Oh, um, yeah, let's do that. Okay. Um, all right, let's open it up. Give us siren. I don't know, teacher. We we were talking with Suleima, Yvonne, Yvonne, and suddenly I was returned to a main session. I don't know. Okay, va. Hagamos una cosa. La voy a mandar a otro grupo, pero no me acepta la invitación. Okay. Y después le voy a mandar de regreso donde debe ir. Okay. So just give me one second while I move you. Okay. Ya le cayó, ¿verdad? El grupo 4. No lo acepte. Ok. Hoy sí lo acepta. Irene? Right, Irene, can you hear me? Hello, Yvonne. Hello, teacher. Eh, se quedó solita. Pues no sé qué pasó con Irene. Sí, creo que está teniendo problemas con su internet o su computadora. Una de dos, dos. Porque la mandé de vuelta. Aquí este grupo. Y um, no sé, como que se quedó trabada ahí en el, en el men. O, o se quedó trabada ahí o... No sí, ajá, o simplemente se desconectó, pero no, como que no le hace el enlace. Entonces, eh, démosle, bueno, have you already finished to begin with? Sí, nosotros ya habíamos terminado, por eso no, tampoco no, 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 no la llamé, porque ya habíamos terminado. Bueno, ok, ah, pues entonces no la esperemos. Entonces, <ríe> sí, sí, ajá, o sea. Sí, ahorita estoy aprovechando, estoy adelantando con las tareas. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Muy bien. ¿Alguna uh, question that you want me to answer? No, teacher. Thank you. Okay. okay. Sí, yo creo que se desconectó. Ya me parece que ya no está. Ya no está. Sí, es su internet de ser. Sí, sí. Mucho problema está viendo ahorita. Sí, eh, uh -huh. sí, yo creo que las conexiones de internet no están muy estables últimamente. Uh -huh. He estado teniendo bastantes problemas también con mi internet. Uh -huh. Ok. All right. Um, anyways, we're going to be finishing in less than a minute. So I'll see you in okay. the Ok. Ok. Thank you. You're welcome. So, I don't know. Maybe, but I guess that is what is referring. We almost complete, teacher. We were just asking us each other in the last question uh, when the article says in the last 
sentence. Uh, the, what determines the markup, uh, the markup of percentage. The, there are four things right there, but the last one says, in the amount of service performed by the seller. We are guessing if that is referring, for example, if someone sells uh, articles that, or for example, uh, hi, a stuff or something that you need to ship and maybe you ship it for free. Is that the reason why it says so? In the last, the last sentence, in the amount of service performed by the seller. In the last paragraph. Mm -hmm. Give me a second. It says, okay. Regards to the type of business, okay. The market, the market percentage is determined by the amount of your planned profit the type of the product or service you are selling, how rapidly the product sells, and the amount of service performed by the seller. Mm -hmm. um, so the amount of service performed by the seller, the seller is the person uh, that gives the service or the product, right? So how much, how much service are you going to be giving? Ah, like Claudia says, uh, tech support, technical support, post. Like no, technical they, support? No, 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 just the service itself. Uh, El servicio, how much service? You know, like to give you just, I'm, I'm just off the, off the top of my head. For example, um, it, like talking about internet, you know, how much, how much internet are you going to give? Is it going to be? Uh, okay. Right. Yeah, I got it. Yes, we were thinking a different way, Claudia. <laughs> okay. Okay. Got it. All right. So, en sí, cuánto es el servicio que hay que dar? O sea, cuánto? And, and, and like, some, some, some services require very little of the seller, and some services require, like, very on demand, right? Okay. Sí, internet es algo de demand. Ah, pues ya, ah, pues ya. Okay, okay but that, thank that's you. just an example. That's just an yeah. example, right? Okay, so. Mm -hmm. But makes sense, makes sense, exactly. Because it's part of the markup. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, thank so you. Some, yeah, like I said, some products require a lot of service, other products not so much. Um, yeah, like, yeah, uh -huh, so it, for example, if you're just going to be selling the product, mm -hmm. right, that does not going, that's not going to determine so much service, right? Mm -hmm. But if, for example, if it's like um, internet, for example, there's going to be like a maintenance, right? Like, okay, like, okay, we're, we're, we have to send um, technicians and we have to, um, you know, set it up and we have to be, yes, like, to give an example, yes, what you were mentioning before, tech support, whatever, you know, all of that in, is included in the service. Okay. That you give. Mm -hmm. So oh, okay. that has that has a more ongoing service, mm -hmm. right? It but depends you, on that. Yeah, it's, but, yes, because we always pay for that for that. Yeah, of service course. Service. Yeah, but if it's different, if you're going to buy, I don't know. Um, se me ocurre. Um, Disposable dishes. Yeah. Powder. Ah. <laughs> right? Yeah. right. I mean, that's not going to require very much service, right? Uh -huh. You sell the product and that's it. You forget about the client. You don't need to be calling them. So, well, what happened? Can you know, do you need help with this? No, right? So, that's not going to require very much help. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just imagine the service that the other products they require also to have a call center for assistance. Wow. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we got a clear cloud there, right? Yes. Okay. All right. See okay, you we are complete. Later. Okay. Yes. All right. See you. See you. Hola, chicas. Hi, teacher. I'm, I'm trying. Hi, Wendy. Hello, sorry, I 
I think that is this is uh the it's not break or room. No, this is not a breakout room. This is the main session. Uh -huh. I'm going to bring everybody back, pero yes. quiero, o sea, no las quiero asustar, pero que de repente pum, 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 empiecen todas a... a, a... Uh -huh. yo, uh -huh. Sí, es que so, yo estaba en un breakout room, pero me cambié de dispositivo, entonces me pasé para la computadora porque ya estoy aquí en la casa. Entonces ya no, ya no logré ingresar nuevamente. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Right now I'm going to close the breakout room, so we're going to have everybody back. Okay. Okay, teacher. Les digo para que no se me asusten. Hmm. ¿Qué les pasó? Ah. Okay, ahí está. Ya lo cerré. It should be coming anytime soon. Where they are. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to be checking the answers. Um, Please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Uh oh. Sorry, chicos. You can see my PowerPoint, pero la mitad, ¿verdad? Ve que solo viene la mitad. Sí, sí, sí. Okay, let's try that again. How about now? Can you see my PowerPoint complete? Yes. yes, teacher. Okay. Good. All right. So, um, first question. Um, what are the most important factors to consider when setting a price for a product? The cost of production the market demand for the product and the distributor market by the business. Okay, just give me one second, guys. Okay, so sorry. So you said what were? The, could you could you name them again? The first one is the cost of the production, mm -hmm. the market demand for the product, and the desired mark markup by business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Exactly. Okay. Any questions about those the, those two answers? No. No. I agree. Yeah, I agree too. All right, just to make sure that everybody knows what we're talking about, um, it's this. Okay. All right, so now what are some examples of fixed costs? Rent for office. Yes. Or? The manufacturing space. Yeah, or the rent for the manufacturing space, good. Can you think of other uh, examples of fixed costs? Mm. Materials. Materials. Mm, I wouldn't say materials is a fixed cost. Why? Because Why? when you when you buy a, a lot of quantity, uh, the most of the commercial commercials. 
can I say commercial food? Or more so the companies? Companies. Most of the company gave you a, a special price. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the cost of the materials will also vary. Um, you know, one 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 month you they may have the price, and another month they may have another price. Right. So you may not actually be able to consider that a fixed cost, right? Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, because remember, fixed means that it's always going to be the same. It does the, that amount; it doesn't change. You can count on that amount every month or every week or whatever it is. You can count on that. But if it's going to be changing, you know, sometimes it changes. To to give an example, you know, um, when the the cost of of um, gas goes up the cost of materials also goes up, right? So that's just something to consider, right? So we can't really consider that a fixed cost. What thing, what are, what things? Labor. Labor, yes, that we can consider fixed. In other words, you have- Payroll, it would be like payroll? Payroll, uh-huh, payroll. The payroll, exactly. Mm. So you have, a certain amount of workers and you pay the workers this amount of money, you know that that doesn't change. That amount of money doesn't change unless you're giving them um, like a profit, right? If you're giving them profit. And overtime. Yeah, or overtime is, yeah. But even then it's not a, a big deal because if you're going to give them overtime or, um, or you're going to uh, pay them for a, a commission, you still, you don't need to worry about so much that because in the end, um, that extra comes from money that, extra money that's coming into the business. So does that make sense? Right, so, so basically the payroll that we can consider to be a fixed cost. You know that you're going to be paying them this amount of money every month. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else that you can think of? Taxes. Taxes. Yes. Yes, we can consider that. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Spe specifically, if there's a like a specific type of tax. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, not all taxes are, not all taxes are fixed, right? But there are some that can be considered fixed, yes. Okay, all right. Now, what are examples of variable costs from the article? Labor and materials. Labor and materials, oops. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, can you give me other examples of variable costs? The cost of production? Mm, okay, but production is, is too general, mm. right? Um, what exactly about production? Mm, when it's relative, as you mentioned before, uh, for example, the primary material, I don't know if it's the correct way to say it, the primary raw. materials, raw. they increase the price. Uh -huh. raw, raw materials. Raw? Right. Raw. Raw, okay. Raw. Um, yeah. R-A-W, right? Yeah. Raw materials. Okay. Uh -huh. Raw materials. Could increase, could increase if uh, the price of the gasoline mm -hmm. or stuff like that. Right. So the like this, right? Labor and materials, the materials. What else? Raw materials. Oh. Row the same way how you write row, like the line on an Excel. No, 
I wrote in the chat. Ah, okay, bro. I got it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Literally translated in Spanish, it's it's materia cruda. Prima. No, literally translated, it's materia cruda. Ah, okay. That's what it means, right? Literally translated. But um, because we don't translate literally yeah. the language. Materia prima. Exactly. See, see what I'm saying? You can't, you can't, that's why translation is material. <laughs> I mean, you can't, you can't really take a, you know, literal translation. You can't mm -hmm. do that because that doesn't make sense. If you just say materia cruda, que es eso, right? But, but you know, that's, that's what I'm saying. And the same mm -hmm. thing, you can't go materia prima, uh, primary material. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, teacher, mm -hmm. si eso bueno. aplica para raw, raw, aplica yeah. para alimento crudo, entonces. Si yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Raw would be raw meat. Of, exactly. Raw meat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks. Okay. So I don't suggest eating raw meat. Not a good idea. Anyway, so what are the other examples of variable calls? Maybe the food. Food. Sure. Why would you need food? Uh, for example, in my company, mm -hmm. the company pay the half of the cost of the lunch for every employee. Oh, okay. So employee benefits. Lucky you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that just reminds me that what you just said reminded me. Do you guys have you ever have you ever investigated what are the job the the working conditions for working at Google? Mm, no. 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 Okay. Just just it, you know just to have for for fun homework um, and do that. It's really interesting. They have amazing benefits. Google has an like wow it's like it's the best thing to you know and and they they don't they don't pay half of the food they pay the complete food and there are you can choose from different places like they have like kind of like mini restaurants where you can go and and uh, where you can choose which kind of food you want you want to eat from so they have like, like, for example, in summertime, they'll have like the barbecue section and, you know, or if you want like pasta, you can have pasta and, you know, it's really interesting. So I just suggest if you guys have the opportunity one day, investigate about that. It's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so what are the things? Tell me, what other things are variable costs? So we have the we have like employee benefits. Yes. Anything else? Transportation. Yes, that's what I'm. I'm thinking of transportation. Uh, yeah, transportation. You're gonna have to pay, uh, for example, the the gas price, right? Gasoline for transportation for the management of the of the actual transportation means. So you have to have um, like the maintenance of like the cars or the trucks you're gonna be using, right? All of that is gonna be variable. Mm -hmm. Okay, Okay. good. Just making sure you guys understand, you know, the difference between fixed costs and variable costs. Then we have, how does market demand affect the pricing of your product? How does market demand affect the pricing of your product? Uh, for the law of demand. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right, right. Uh -huh. as, a fall, as a price fall, demand rises. Exactly. And as a demand rise, the price rises, demand falls. Right, exactly. What we're talking about last time, right? So the higher the price, 
no, sorry, sorry. The lower the price, the more the demand, right? So you have low price, people want to want to buy it. And the opposite is true. Uh, we have high price, not so many people want to buy it. Yeah, that's kind of the idea. Okay, good. What variables influence um, the, the, sorry, what variables influence to determine the markup percentage? The amount of your plane profit. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else? The type of the product or service. Right. What else? How rapidly the product sells. Right. And the amount of service performed by the seller. Right. Okay, so other in other words, um, how much do I want to get a profit? What type of product is it? What kind of service is it? Right? Um, you know, is it is it going to be a service? There is there like a lot of demand on the service um, or the product? You know, um, is it a product that you can um, sell in big quantities? You know, or is it a product that you, it's only an individual sell? Um, how rapidly the product sells, right? So that means like, okay, so if I put this product on on the market, am I going to sell it quickly? Or is it going to be taking some time to sell it? To give you an example, maybe a car. A car, if I sell a car, am I going, am, like, let's say that I, I'm, I'm into selling cars, okay? So I get, I get new cars and I'm gonna sell them. Are those cars gonna sell quickly? Probably not that quickly, right? It's not something that's going to be like, okay, every day I'm gonna I'm gonna be selling a car, right? It's probably not gonna be like that. I'm probably going to be selling a car maybe, I don't know, once or twice at most a week, right? So it's not a product that sells very quickly. It's different if I'm selling, for example, candies, right? If I'm selling candies. And, um, you know, am I going to buy, um, am I going to sell that quickly? Yes or no? Or water, let's say water bottles. I'm going to sell that quickly? Or masks, right? Let's say I have masks that I'm selling on the street, for example. Am I going to, am, am I going to sell those quickly? Yes, teacher. Probably, right? Because those things are things that people are looking for constantly, right? And they're going, they're, I'm going to be selling it like every day and probably not just one every day. I'm going to be sending, selling very many uh, in, in one day, right? So those, they sell quickly. And then we have the amount of service performed by the seller. That, so that means how much service do I need to give to the client? Is it very minimal or do I have to constantly be giving them service? Um, and so, and I was given an example to one group that if, for example, if, if I give, if I, my service is internet, well, with the internet, it's going to be a lot of service because I have to go and first of all, I have to send somebody to install the service for the internet. Second, um, I need to make sure that the um, client always has um, a, what's it called, uh, tech support, right? And so all of that includes like um, people that are going to be giving them that tech support. I have to find a, a call center, right? Where I have all these people that are giving tech support and, you know, blah, 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 blah. So that's going to be a lot of service. It's different if I just have like, um, let's say I'm going to sell a speaker, okay? If I'm gonna sell a speaker, okay, I sell it to you and that's it. I don't see the client anymore. I don't have to be giving them service. 
Does that make sense? Yes, no? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yeah? Okay, perfect. So there you go. Those are the market price, uh, percentage. Why is this important to know? Well, because if you want your product to do well in the market, you it's not just enough to be able to sell it, right? Like you can sell a product and maybe it's like, like they say in Spanish, a venta loca, right? You could do that. But if you do not have the correct information of how to make the pricing, right? You're probably going to end up being bankrupt, even if you're selling a lot, yeah? So it's not enough just to sell. It's also important to know what's the correct pricing to give. Because also, it is not just about, you know, saying, okay, I'm going to make a lot of profit. And that's way I'm going to get a lot of money. Because remember, if you do, if your markup is too high, then this is what happens. Remember the market demand for a product, if as the price falls, demand rises. And as prices rise, demand falls. So if you're, if you're putting your price too high, your demand is going to be low. Right, so you gotta make sure that you have to also balance it out, okay? All right, guys, so having said that, if you have, you guys have any questions before we, we move on? No? Okay. All right, since we have no more questions, let's take attendance. Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Andres. Present teacher. Claudia. Present teacher. Edgar. Edgar. No, no lo veo, ¿verdad? Se desconectó. Okay, no, so Edgar is not here. Irvin. Irvin, tampoco, right? Okay, Heidi. Present teacher. Um, Irene? Present teacher. Ivan? Present teacher. Jose Montes? Jose Wilfredo? Present teacher. Josue? Josue? Por ahí anda, pero no está. Okay. Uh, Juan Francisco? Uh, Jerry? Present teacher. Uh, Luis? Present teacher. Natalia? Present teacher. Okay. Ronald? Present teacher. Wendy? Present. Warner? Present teacher. And Yvonne? Present. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so sure. we are... oh, sorry, I'm here. Sorry, I'm working right now. <laughs> okay, there you are. Jose. I knew you were somewhere around there, but okay. All right, perfect. Thank you. Okay, so we are going to move on to the next part. Please tell me when you can see my PowerPoint. Oops. Yeah. Now it's true. Okay. So join, sorry, I should say joined, join, not joined, sorry. So join your assigned breakout room with your original group. Your original group, we're talking about the group that we've been taught working with. Remember the group that we always go back to. Prepare a presentation, go back to the new, pro, the new product description you created in unit one. Make the list of features as specific and detailed as possible. Brainstorm the materials needed to create a prototype. List the benefits of building a prototype of your new product. Share your presentation with the class. So basically in your presentation, we have to do three things. One, the list of features. Okay, so actually let me, let me underline that so that you guys understand. Um, so list of features, okay. The features, the list of features of the product. Okay. Then 
the materials. The materials needed for the prototype. And finally, the benefits of building the prototype. Okay, those are the three things you're going to be talking about. So are they, is that pretty clear? Yes? No? A little bit? Cuénteme, chicos. Is it clear? Not clear? Can I explain something? Teacher, yeah. um, in, in our group, we create a chocolate. We, we have chocolate. Uh, right. Food. Okay. But to, to create that proto prototype, the list of, of the ingredients or yeah, okay. yeah. When it says materials, you, it, we're talking about in this case it'd be the the ingredients. Yes, okay. and and not and not only the ingredients. Um, you might also need to talk about the materials you need for the wrapping, for the packaging. Okay, teacher. Okay, that may also okay. be included. Thanks. Yeah, because remember, part of the the prototype is also the 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 presentation of the product. Mm -hmm. Okay, anything else? Any other questions? Okay, va. In este caso, um, you guys are gonna have to help me again with telling me who you were with because it'll be easier that way. Okay, quiero ver, quiero ver, hagamos. Okay, empecemos. Uh, Ana Claudia, who are you working with? In the original group, uh, Irene and Irvin. Right, okay, but Irvin is not here. Okay, okay. so if he, if he comes in, I'll let you, I'll send him over to you. Okay, okay. Okay, Andres, who are you working with? With Werner, Judy, and Rona. Thank you. Um, Claudia, who are you working with? With Edgar and Luis. With Edgar, who is not here, and Luis, okay. All right, thank you. Heidi, who are you working with? With Juan Francisco, and who else, Juan Francisco? Uh, with Jose Wilfredo and um, Wendy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Ivan, who are you working with? Uh, with Natalia and Ivon. Okay, thank you. Uh, who, but who is working with Josue? Josue was with with our group teacher. With your group, with with Ivan and Natalia too, right? Yes. Okay. To add it to our group. Perfect. Okay. Bye. All right. I'm going to open up the rooms. Uh, how does? Um, fifteen minutes. I'll put, give you guys fifteen minutes. Sounds good. Yes, teacher. Okay. Here we go. Let's open them. Uh, Natalia, are you there?
Okay, let me show. Hello, teacher. Hello, Luis. Teacher, we can create, create a prototype of a service. Sure. Why? It's possible. Um, we have to create the actual, like an, an example of a service. Right? So kind of like a, like a demonstration, a demo. Okay. We were thinking about it. Okay. Right. Yes, because our, our services is cleaning for in service for uh, office and house. And we was thinking how we can design the prototype. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have to actually uh, give the service, right? Give set up the service um, to give a demo of what it would mm -hmm. be like. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Good idea. Okay. Let's start uh, with the um, main list of features as possible. And then the list. I don't know, maybe because it's a recycle, recycle, common, but we we need what kind of product will we we need for do. Like materials needed to create a prototype. Uh -huh. mm, the same ones. Remember that we've been talking about the recyclable plastic. No, that 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 product will be recyclable, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. oh, plastic, plastic. Plus materials needed to create a prototype. The from materials the same as the original. Okay. I'm looking for the last presentation about that, but I I I don't I, the, the last know. one when, when we made the swap because we were talking about the features in that. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you so much. I think that the previous we've been talking about the benefits of the ah oh no benefits of building a prototype of your new product uh, i think it will be uh, we are making a first we are making a use test mm -hmm. and uh, the it will be tested in real circumstances. Remember, we've been talking about that, that the presentation will be in a hotel and people will be able to carry the bottle in the, uh, at the beach, also in the pool. Because we want we want they test the, the, that product in that, okay. that environment. Okay, so I don't know if you can find the, the page you have you made the last time. Lost. Just Lost. make a new one and just put it the color that color you have. It's a yellow one, I guess. And just make, let's make this as a list. First, we need to list the features as specific and detailed as possible. We mentioned three before. Uh, the materials needed to create the prototype and then the benefits. Of what list of feature. Okay, what a list of feature? We say that is uh, easy to carry Easy to carry. Easy. Teacher, in that case, we can say easy to carry on. Fácil de cargar. No, 
carry on means to continue. Ah, hoy voy a anotar eso. Thank you. Carry on means continue. Carry on. No, no, no. It must easy to carry on different. Ay, ¿cómo le pongo different? Ah, y si tú carry, déjale y después le ponemos el otro adorno en la parte. Este. Ok. What are we going to do now? Yeah, the, this is the process in. Uh, and, uh, and first is uh, the materials. The materials mm -hmm. and. Uh, empresa, el, eh, ¿Cómo se llama? Relleno, ¿cómo sería? Not. Filling. 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 Mm. Mantequilla de maní. Yeah, and, and uh, the principal cacao. Cocoa. Cocoa. Uh, mm -hmm. Cocoa. Cocoa. Mm -hmm. Cocoa. Cocoa. Mm -hmm. uh, Milk. Milk. Sugar. 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 Oil. The okay. Oh, no. I don't know. Yeah. Available with your logo design. Available with what? With your logo design. With your logo design. Mm -hmm. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, six features. ¿Qué otra? Another feature. Reusable. Reusable. Mm -hmm. reusable. Any questions, guys? No, teacher. No, teacher. No? Okay. About the brainstorm. The brainstorm is about the materials to build the prototype. So we're going to discuss about the materials to make the prototype? Yes, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. But first of all, we, we took the features, right? Right, features, materials, and benefits of building the prototype. Ah, benefits, okay. <laughs> no, it's a liar because the, the rock the rock star is a man, uh, but the physiognomy, yes. Uh-huh, paint paint the nails, yeah. Yes. Uh-huh. So the benefit is the, um, the benefits is that you see the quality, you see the durability. I, I, I don't remember even what you said, uh, durability. Mm -hmm. 
And you can see the demand of the the demand of the problem. of the people. Mm. And ah, the color, the body. We need to all the colors. We need to do a present no. Wow. A present? Yes. A presentation? Are you talking about a presentation? No, it's not yes. necessary. Yes. I think it's necessary to yeah. to approve them. <laughs> but we take a note, so we do the present, the presentation. You you have to do a presentation, but it doesn't have to be in like in PowerPoint. Does that make sense? What? Yeah, but you can do it in, in another uh, platform. Or... Whatever you want, but yes, you just have to make sure that you're presenting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yvonne, can you share the the, the questions? Mm. Uh, number one, uh -huh. list of features of the product. Mm -hmm. I share my screen. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm -hmm. We choose a design. the features Oi. sorry my computer is very slow hmm. <laughs> okay the feature the first one is the well the product is the polish nail right mm -hmm. nail polish permanent it's not permanent polish. Nail polish. Permanent polish. Nail polish. Nail polish. Yes. Only that. It's not a permanent nail polish. No. Yes, but it has to be nail polish. Okay. Okay. Well, what happened? Why are you guys so, so quiet? <laughs> I don't know. I'm working right now in the presentation. The first one is features of the product. Then, yep, list of features ah, of the product. Ah, screen. But 
I lose, I lose, but we can do it again. Commercialization, I guess it was. Uh, yes, almost. We are just trying to find a document. Uh, we can add that name as it is uh, friendly. Friendly. No, I don't have it. Idea generation. Idea screening. No, no, no. Are you guys ready? No, no teacher. Yet, teacher. No. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Yes, we are mixing the raw material. You're mixing the raw material. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, how's that going? Uh, what? How is that going? Is it difficult to mix it? Uh, yes, teacher. <laughs> then you have to taste it. <laughs> I'm I'm a volunteer. <laughs> okay. Um so you're doing the materials right now. Uh we are we are talking about the list of benefit benefits okay perfect. Okay, so profit the, the, the proto prototype mm -hmm. okay good mm -hmm. how many we need to do we need to write there how many sentences um maybe three whatever you you believe okay there are the benefits okay so I'll give you three more minutes. Okay. About three minutes, okay? Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. Let me see. Okay. All right, are you guys almost ready? Yes, teacher, no. almost. We, we are working the last... Uh, Point. Okay. The benefits of prototype, and we need more time, please. Okay. Uh, two, three minutes. And uh, three, please. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. M. M. S. N. S. In the middle, yes. Yes. Right. yes. Um, guys, you have about two, three minutes left, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you. So use your time wisely. Okay? Thank you. All right. Only that, I don't know, is. Pero que solo eso. All right, you ready? I know, weak, no weak, the malba. Not yet, teacher. <laughs> weak, the Two no, minutes. No. Okay, teacher. Okay. I think only that. And uh, now we have to write uh, uh -huh. and the other materials, one. materials for prototype. Prototype. I don't remember. Is the when you were prototype? The write the prototype. I don't. Materials for prototype. What you need? How you write prototype? A prototype. It's okay. It's correct. Uh, classic is not classic. Is Classy es con Y. Double S. En la, en, la, en la anterior, en la primera. Donde dice, no, el polish is an easy, en classy, ajá. 
Classy. Sí. Sí. Ajá, aquí está la C también. Y pone Y. It's a classy way to make your next beautiful. Sorry, <laughs> I have some problems. Classic is, oh, I share the, the, the. Of the show. Hey guys, um, right now I'm gonna give you the two minutes. I'm sorry, uh, one minute, one minute. Okay. No. That's back in the main room. The first one is uh, next nail polish. Yeah. Okay, we're waiting for everybody to come back. Okay, I think everybody's back. Okay, good. All right, guys, it's time to present. Okay, so we are going to start with group number one is Ana Claudia and Irene. Ana Claudia, would you like to start? I'm sorry, right now. Oh, I was just joining the room. Are we presenting right now? Yes, yes. I was in the limbo, <laughs> just joining. Okay. okay. Uh, these uh, are the features. Uh, our bottle, our product is a bottle and it's easy to carry. It also keeps temperature. You can use it with a cold liquid or hot liquid. And also is recyclable. Then, Irene. Okay, about um, materials. Mm -hmm. This barrel, these materials, uh, all of them are recyclable. Uh, benefits. This bottle is in, this bottle is so friendly, environmental friendly, has low cost of production and high high markup percentage. It's an excellent and amazing bottle for the person who is fitness and in the person who enjoy enjoy make exercise and practice sports mm -hmm. and those are the benefits to make a prototype because in our plan uh, we are going to make the a use test uh, and we plan to make it in a hotel right Irene? <laughs> <Yes>. because <laughs> because uh, uh, people can test it uh, inside a building but also remember that in a hotel you uh, the 
the product is uh, exposed to maybe water for a, I don't say it's a piscine, for the pool, or maybe if, if it's a beach hotel, so it will be exposed to a different temperature, et cetera. That is the benefit for the prototype. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, um, just remember that in English we have two words that means hacer, right, uh, which are make and do, and some um, some activities collocate with make, and some activities collocate with do. In this case, with exercise, it would be do exercise. Mm -hmm. um. <laughs> Do exercise. People who do exercise. Yes, that's correct. Oh, okay. 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 Great. Right, thank you. Excellent. Thank you, girls. Bravo. <laughs> okay. All right. Our next group is, and you don't have to take very long, guys. Just go ahead and present as quickly as possible. Okay. Uh, room two is Andres, Jerry, Ronald, and Warner. Guys? Ay, no, qué tortura. <laughs> Ya me dieron ganas. Sí, de pronto. Para que, para que vean qué buen producto vamos a hacer. Ok, teacher, our product is a chocolate. For the, for the prototype, we need a colorant, cocoa, milk, peanut butter, nuts, and that, that's it, teacher. Okay. Um, how 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 do you pronounce this? Sorry. How do you pronounce that word? Which one? The one that I put in the chat. The one I put in the chat. Yeah, in the chat. I I wrote the word down in the chat. Mm. No, I don't understand. It. Okay, in the chat. Look look at the chat. Ah, and it's uh -huh. Cocoa? Okay. I know it's spelled with an A at the end, but in English we just say cocoa. 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 Yes. Okay. So we do not pronounce the A. Okay. So the A is silent. Okay. Okay. And um, how do you pronounce this word? Peanut? Butter. Yeah, peanut peanut butter. And this would be nuts. Nuts. That's right. Very good. Nuts. Not so be careful with that. You it's not nudes, it's nuts. Okay. Very good. All right. Is that it? Uh, or did you guys talk about the benefits already? Yes, teacher, but I think that it's not in the presentation. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Perfect. Okay. All right. No problem. Thank you very much, guys. Okay. Excellent. All right. Uh, we continue with the next group, which is um, right now. Who's working with you, Luis? Can you start going? Claudia. Okay. But he so has to live. Okay. Well, do you have the information? Yes, teacher. Okay, go for it. You can present. Okay. okay, give me one second, please. Okay. I'm going to share my screen. And let me know if you can see. Yes, we can see it. Okay, our product is as cleaning service. 
uh, for the features, we have a uh, offer wide range of service, a customizable service, trained and professional cleaners, safe, secure, and confidential, high tech cleaning supplies, reasonable price pricing, flexible schedule, and consistent quality service. The uh, prototype is uh, with an um, app. We use an app to create a clickable paper prototype with a 16 screen to simulate the experience of selecting cleaning service and cleaners, reading cleaners, profiles, and reviews, and ordering the service. And uh, the app helps to helps you to easily choose uh, tradable and high quality cleaners based on their reviews star profiles and review posts by other users. On the homepage, user can choose from several kinds of cleaning service. Um, the benefits of prototype is to reduce the customer and um, experience like that way. Uh, they receive uh, with the clean service and you can interact with the app as it will be when you hiring the service and um, that's all teacher all right very good excellent you did a great job in creating that prototype i know you guys were having a little bit of problems thinking how to do it but that was very good mm -hmm. um okay. how do you pronounce this word Luis? uh i don't really i'm not really sure customizable customizable i don't know yeah customizable oh okay customizable. yeah very good okay excellent bravo good job okay let's move on to group number four which is heidi jose juan and wendy Okay, can you share the presentation? Please, Juan Francisco. Okay, remember our product, washable face masks, about the features, we can say it's standard size, Multiple color, washable, quilting cotton made, accessible price available with your logo design, um, reusable, breathe better, prevent pollution, high quality made, cheaper, environment friendly, comfortable design, and fashion design. Uh, can you help me with the brainstorm of the prototype, Juan Francisco, please? Okay, uh, the material um, prototype uh, is uh, made patron or plantain, uh, quilting cotton, and five layers of polypropylene, and tank fluid, elastic, and uh, stamping machine. Next. Jose Wilfredo or Wendy? The benefits of building, building a prototype. One is environmental friendly. Two, it is cheaper. And number three is fashion and comfortable design. And finally, is certification for of uh, w H O. Okay. Okay. Thanks. All right. Um. Just just um. A observation for group num for this group um, group number four. When we say what are the benefits of building a prototype, we're talking about what. Like um how what are the benefits that we have 
to making the prototype compared to just doing the mass production of this product. So, um, you know, how, how am I as the company going to benefit from creating this prototype instead of just making lots of this, uh, the same design and starting to sell them? That's kind of the idea. Does that make sense? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Okay. All right. Okay, good. Uh, let's move on to group number five. And by the way, thank you very much. Thank you, uh, group number four. And now group number five will be Ivan, Josue, Natalia, and Suleyma. Okay. Well, um, our product is the nail polish. So the features of the this product is that it's easy and classy or stylish way to make your nails beautiful. Uh, people can choose then to help conceal nails that are damaged, uh, can help to protect weak nails and show what clean nails. And the materials, uh, Yvonne? Okay, uh, for the materials to the prototype, we need a nail polish, a nail file, dry base, a sealer, and a UV lamp. And for benefits, uh, to building a prototype is uh, easy to remove, don't damage your nails uh, is a protector for weak nails. And we can see the durability of the product, the quality uh, of yeah. the products, and we can see the demand of the product uh, for the people. Okay, is that it? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. fine. very good. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, group number five. Okay. All right, guys. So that will be all for today. Um, let me just, I want to share something. I know that you guys um, have to finish the, the platform, but I also want you guys to do the following. I'm going to, um, Oops, no, it's not going to work. Give me a second. Oh, I see. Okay, so um, hold on. Let me try that again. I obviously pressed the wrong button. Okay, so let me try that again. Please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. And uh, I need you guys to take a screenshot. Yeah? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. All right, so this is an activity uh, for indirect questions. Okay, so uh, I want you to do this activity. We have the indirect question here and you're gonna be changing it with this um, indirect question phrase. Okay, so why did she cry? You're gonna change it to an indirect question starting with, can you tell me? That's how it's gonna work. Okay, so you can take a screenshot of that and um, we're gonna be checking the answers tomorrow. Okay, sounds okay, good. Hold a second, please. Okay, no problem. And remember guys, we need to finish our platform today. So just a reminder of that. 
I'm going to be updating the, the grade list tomorrow morning, first thing tomorrow morning. So it needs to be done. Pero como de todo modo ustedes ya desde antes ven ahí haciendo sus tareas a tiempo, no les va a tomar mucho tiempo hacer eso último a terminarlo. Ok. Um, all right. So let me, you, can I, can I take it off? Sure. Ok. Yes, thank you. This is crazy. I don't know what's going on. Okay, anyways, um, okay, let me take attendance. Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Andres. Present teacher. Um, Claudia. Claudia, no, right? Uh, Edgar. Edgar. No, okay. Um, Irvin. When, um, Heidi. Present teacher. Irene. Present teacher. Ivan. Present teacher. Uh, Jose. I'm sorry, Jose Montes. Jose Ayala. Present teacher. All right. Um, Josué. Present teacher. All right. Um, eh, Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Jerry. Present teacher. Great. Um, Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Okay. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, Luis. Present teacher. Okay. Natalia. Present teacher. Ronald. Present teacher. Wendy. Present. Okay. Warner. Present teacher. The wizard. <laughs> and I was looking at you. <laughs> Anyone? Present. Okay, perfect. Okay, chicos, eso sería todo. I'll see you guys um, tomorrow and I'm gonna stay with Ana Claudia. Teacher, but I don't have, a, I will need to complete the platform, so I'm sorry, I cannot stay. I don't know if someone else wants to take okay. my turn. Anybody wants to stay? No? Okay. Sorry, teacher, but I need to complete the platform. <laughs> no problem. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow then. Take Thank care. you. ¿Qué pasó con esa production? No, no voy a production ahora. Hey, bueno, te estaba viendo, estabas haciendo magia. Sí, bueno, ya está desconectado. Sí, sí, bueno, sí, bueno, y que... Sí, estaba ahí con los... Ajá, yo no sí, ¿verdad? Que, que me está contando que eso tengo 10 segundos, ¿o qué voy a hacer? No, estaba desapareciendo la moneda. ¿no? Oh, ok. Yo solo es miraba bueno. que a las tías sí, yo... ¿Qué le pasa? Mirá, Ana Claudia, aquí está, refresco. Ajá. Refresco. Ajá, ¿Eh? Ajá. va. Y cómo vamos a ver ahí con la cámara vos. Ya la botaste cuando le Ya se escuchó. <risa> y la tiene ¿La ahí, ti, ya? ya se la vi detrás de la mano, la tiene. Ah, es que buen mano. truco aquí. No, aquí me apareció la moneda. Aquí, aquí, aquí se la pone. <risa> ya lo vi. Ah, vieja, ya te vio Yuri. Yo pensaba Entendiente que están, ya, veo que, ya veo que todos están bien pendientes. <risa> es que estaba viendo tu acto de magia ahí. <risa> Qué buen truco, Werner. Aquí me apareció la moneda. Teletransportation. Regresámela, regresámela. Sí, de la parte. Con la única que se ve que lo voy a recibir yo. Por el, así, toma, por el toma, chat. Así. Ay, Dios mío. Me lo pase a todos. Oh, take care, good night, people. Bye. 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 B